Okay, so uh, note taking is uh, voluntary today. Uh, you can take them if you want. Okay, so remember, um, algebra can be used to turn uh, problems into word problems, into uh, specifically maths problems by using um, uh, converting words into algebra. So the first thing we look at is converting words into algebra. So some uh, key terms that we need to know is that if we see the word sum, that means to add. If we see the word product, that means to multiply. If you see difference, that means to subtract. And uh, lesser used, but quotient is uh, division. Okay, so there's some key skills. So an example of that uh, an example of that would be um, if you wanted to write such as. Uh, twice the sum of two numbers. And if I wanted to write that in algebra, how could I write that in algebra? If anyone type into the chat, how would I write that in algebra? Uh, twice the sum of two unknown uh, numbers. Well, people are typing that in the chat or thinking about it. Olivia, Lara, Aiken, I need you guys to send pictures of your homework, please, because um, uh, you missed the homework show and tell. So can you send me pictures of your homework at some stage before uh, 12 o'clock today? So you've got an hour to do that. The homework that is due today. Okay, so Ethan using question marks. I mean, you generally wouldn't see question marks in algebra. Osborne, uh, getting a little bit... Uh, yes, Louis, that's okay. Um, a little bit uh, closer. Lauren has perhaps written it the way I would like to see it written. So the sum of two numbers, uh, so you could use A or B and X and Y. Let's use A and B. Uh, so sum would mean A plus B. That would be the sum of two numbers, unknown numbers. Now, you could do twice that by saying multiplication like that. Twice A plus B. Or you could have written it the way Osborne has written it, uh, just twice A and twice B added together. It means the same thing. Okay, so that's an example of turning uh, words into algebra. Okay. Uh, so let's continue to look at some skills we need to have. So that's words into algebra. That's the first skill we need to have from algebra. Um, perhaps the second skill is substitution. that is when we start to know the values of the variables. So for my example, I'm going to say let a equals negative 3 and b equals 7. So an example question for this would be uh, evaluate uh, let's do 2 times 3a minus b plus uh, 2b, or 2a. So I want to evaluate this. I want to get my uh, answer, n numerical answer for this. I don't want letters anymore. So there's two ways to go about this. So if you think you can get the answer, once again, type it in the chat before I do. I want to evaluate this. All right, so um, easiest way would probably be a is negative 3. Yeah, you can simplify it. You, yeah, you can multiply it out. And b is 7. Uh, so uh, the question is not to simplify. Now we know what a and b are, so we don't need to do the distributive rule. Then. No, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, 
you can simplify it down and I think it, you'll get 8a minus 2b and that's, uh, that's a correct step you, you can do that but I'm just going to evaluate it as it is Lauren thinks it's negative 38 well, let's see uh, so a is negative 3 so let's replace so that's going to be 3 and now a is negative 3 minus well b is 7 brackets if I wish and that's going to be plus 2 times well a is negative 3 still all right money Lauren has an answer no one else can get the answers to this so uh, I must do what's inside the bracket first inside and must deal with these brackets inside the bracket first so that's multiplication that's 3 times was well, 3 times a so 3 a is negative 3 so 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 and that's going to be take away 7 in a second. I know what A is, you, so it can't be in the answer. Um, plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Yeah, or plus minus 6 if you want. Uh, these two combined, negative 9 take away 7, that's negative uh, 16. Negative 9 take away another 7. That's going to be times 2. Six. So this would be an example of a blue level question, by the way. All right. So now I can apply the 2, 2 multiplied. I could have multiplied it separately, but I'll do it all at once. Minus 32 minus another 6. And that gives an answer of minus 38. So, Lauren, you were right to start off with. Okay, so that's a, a difficult substitution question at blue level. But um, that is just replacing the letters at the start. Now, of course, what we were doing more recently is when we don't know the values of the letters and we just must manipulate them. And that was the simplifying and the distributive rule and the factorizing, which we did last week. And that's what we're going to look at next. So that was substitution. So I'm going to do uh, simplifying and expanding together so expanding remember was using that distributive rule so an example question of that and this is what we did last week so it should be fairly fresh in the mind is if i have three times x plus y and then have something like plus x times two plus so that would be an example. I want to uh, expand and then simplify. So the first thing I would do would be expand this. So expanding means multiplying using the distributive rule, which is multiplying everything outside the bracket by everything inside the bracket. 3 times x gives 3x's. 3 times y then, so there's two multiplications here, 3 times this and this gives 3y. 3 times y is 3y. Now I multiply here. Uh, fully simplified, Lauren, is that the final answer? 5x plus 3y. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. You can't add anything else together. Oh, uh, Osborne thinks the same. Well, I think you're both right. Uh, x times 2 is 2x, and then x times y is xy. Well, the number of you have it. All right, that is it expanded. The brackets are gone. So it's expanded. And then I can use the distributive rule, or the, sorry, the simplifying rules of like terms. Three x's can be added to two x's. They are the same term. They're like apples. Five x's are five apples. Three y has no body, because x y is not a y, so it's just three y. And x y has no body either, because it just on this form. And that is, it simplified. So I can only put together in simplifying uh, exactly the same terms. So it has to be three x's and two x's, that's five x's. Okay? The final skill then we need to have is um, factorizing. Which was the last thing we did last week. So if I want to factorize something, so let's uh, take an example question again. If I have uh, 36 x, y plus 
24x squared, and I want to factorize this. Once again, let's see if you can get a type in the chat there if you think you can do it. So three of you got the last question right. Let's see, can anyone get this one right? Personally, Charlie thinks they can do it. So remember, factorizing would be to put in a bracket. So let's put in the bracket. Uh, what would be the highest common factor, the biggest thing that divides into both terms? Uh, so highest common factor is 36 and 24. Well, Osborne thinks 12 or 3 works. Uh, 3 does work. 6 would work. 12 would definitely work. 12 is the highest number, so 12 is the highest one, so, uh, yeah, I think Yoop uh, and Lauren and Charlie are on the right track here, let's see, uh, so 12 is the highest number, any letters in common between both, yeah, X is here, X is here, so that's X, now, what's left behind, there's a Y here, and there's another X here, but I can't use both of them, okay, so, what's left behind, 12 divided into the 36, three times, and I haven't used the y, so the y is here. 12 divided into 24, two times, and there's still an x left behind. I can test my answer. Did it work out? 12 times 3 gives 36, and x times y gives xy. 12 times 2 gives 24, and x times x gives x squared. Okay. And that's the review of what we did the last uh, week or so before winter break, and... Um, last week in algebra. So that's everything we've done in algebra so far. So what's on the agenda today? Yes, it's a worksheet today, but just reviewing those those skills. So you have a choice of green, yellow, or blue. Uh, this worksheet will be due for Friday. So Friday's lesson. The few of you guys that I would like to stay on the line, if I don't call out your name, you're now free to go and uh, start work on today's worksheet. I'll stay on the line. If you have any questions, you can come back in and ask me. So these people, can you please stay on the line? Um, uh, Louis, uh, Aiken, Lara, Livia, uh, can you guys just hang on for a minute, please? Everybody else now is free to go and start working on today's stuff. Thank you, Bob. Uh, that's voluntary if you want to do that and that's voluntary okay thank you okay. Uh, all right so uh, i will need yeah all of you to send your homework to me so just take a picture of it please and send it to me um mr uh mr collins yeah i just send it Oh, okay, sweet. I'll, I'll check your, that out. Um, email. Yeah, I'll check that out when I'm off this call. Uh, so, yeah, that's fine if you said thank you, Olivia. Um, uh, if you have any problems, you can come back in. Did all that make sense to you, Olivia and Lara? Made sense? Okay. Uh, Olivia, you can leave now and you can come back in when you have, uh, if you have a question. Okay. Um, wait, what was your homework again? Sorry. So the work today is, uh, it's on ManageBack. So just check ManageBack. It's the review. It's called Review of Algebra So Far. Uh, okay. Do one color again for now. Okay, Olivia. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, Lara, are you there? Oh, I yeah. see. Uh, Lewis, I'll take you first. What's up, Lewis? Yeah, sorry. Uh, the patch, the... The homework is the distributive rule and uh, the factorizing, right? The homework is, no, well, you correct the homework. The answers to today's homework is there. You should have that done. So you can just correct your work. And is it on the bottom? It's on the bottom, right? Uh, no, they're the questions. Look in the message itself. There's documents. Oh, okay, in the message. And yeah. the homework? It's there in the message as well. Just read Oh, it. here's today's worksheet. Okay, cool. Thank yeah. you. Okay, bye, Lucy. All right, Lara, you're here. 
Yeah. Did you manage to get the homework done? Yes. Okay. Can you see, you can send pictures then uh, later on and. Uh, but for now, did you understand all the stuff I did there? Yes. Okay, sweet. All right, so you're the same as Olivia. You can, you can leave um, and start to work on that worksheet now. Uh, Igen. Yeah. Okay, I want, uh, Igen, can you join Miss Williams' chat? She's gonna run through uh, all that revision work with you. Yeah, uh, sorry, I couldn't finish it because I was sick this week. Okay, but you need to find the video in the chat and she'll go through the phase of our Alright. Okay? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Louis? Yeah? How are you with all that stuff I did today? Uh, okay, but do you have only to do the factorizing or the... And, uh, what? Do you have... What, you have to do the both and in manage back or but, uh, the factorizing and the expanding are the answers I put the answers up to those so it's the same you just need to scroll down to the bottom of the new document if you go into the manage back I'll show you I'll just uh, show you my, on my screen if you go into the manage back document you're going to see uh, this for today in the actual uh, the meeting. And the answers yeah. are these two documents. That's the homework, okay? And then here's today's worksheet. That's what you're gonna be starting new work on today. Okay. okay, so correct these two in your own time, these two, and but uh, this is the new work, the, this one. Do that one now. Yeah. Okay? All right. Okay. If you have any questions, you can come back in and ask me, all right? Yeah. Okay. All right, Louis. Thank you. You can, you can leave now. Okay. Bye. You, you had sum, product, and difference. What was the last one? Oh, uh, uh, some uh, product difference quotient. You read that. I'll put up the video later on so you can watch it again. Quotient means division. It's not, it's not very often used. It's only used a little bit. Okay, thank you. Okay.